Korean model and actor James Kim is the celebrity spokesman for Tom and Toms, a popular Korean coffee chain that is set to take off in Singapore with two new cafes opening in Faris Plaza and Icon in Tanjong Paga. The 31-year-old has appeared in supporting roles in both Asian and Hollywood films. He starred alongside Shu Ti and Tony Leung in Soul Raiders, and he also played a cop in the Hollywood film Father's Day with Robin Williams. I asked him about his growing up years in the US, his love of martial arts, and the difference between acting in Hollywood and Korea. One of the notable films that you've acted in was uh, Soul Raiders with uh-huh. Tony Leung and Shu Ti. Right. What was it like working with Shu Ti? She, she is very professional mm-hmm. and she's very cute and um, she's the type of person that uh, always cheers other people up really? on the set, yeah. Wow. Well, what about Tony Leung? Tony Leung, very serious, a <laughs> good actor. I like him and he's humble too. He's a, I mean, he's a superstar in Asia, but, but how he, um, I mean, how he like hang, hangs out with uh, crews and other actors on the set, he's very humble, I like him. Okay. And uh, you are interested in Shaolin martial arts. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. You can... Uh, I trained Shaolin, uh, Shaolin Kung Fu for about uh, 15 years since I was in high school. Mm-hmm. How did you get interested in that? I always liked Kung Fu. As a little kid, Hong Kong films were very popular in Asia. And I grew up watching Jackie Chan. Wow. Jet Li, yeah, and you know th- those kind of movies. So I I loved Chinese martial arts. Okay, and what was the toughest, most demanding stunt you've ever had to do yourself on set? Uh, this movie called Sunday Soul. Um, I had no stunt, and it was winter, and I had to carry uh, carry a uh, uh, two uh, what's we call it? You, you know that. Then you, you hold the water, you pull the water. A pail? Yeah, a pail, yeah. I, I had to carry those and cross the bridge. It was, it was a very narrow bridge yeah. in winter. If I, if I made a mistake, I would fall and get, <laughs> get hurt for myself. And that was a scene that I still remember, the hardest. Okay. Is that a very, is that a big advantage uh, in the film industry to have um, martial yeah, arts training? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because there are a lot of roles. Um, the actors need to do martial art. I see. But do you also think that it's somewhat of a stereotype to expect Asian actors to have martial arts abilities? Well, yeah, from not so much in Asia. You're, you're Asian. I yeah. mean, you're a character by yourself. But in Hollywood, uh, they, it's a stereotype. Asian actors must do martial art. But I think it won't change anytime soon. What about yourself? Are you the kind who would fight for justice in real life? I definitely will, if I'm strong enough. <laughs> Have you ever gotten into a fight to stand up for a, for a girlfriend? <laughs> okay, there was a time uh, I went to club. Uh-huh. It's a very famous club in Korea. Yeah. And this guy came up to my girlfriend and started hitting on her. and I. I think that uh, he didn't know that I was my, her boyfriend. Right. So I tried to stop him and he pushed me away. And uh, instantly I kicked him like three times. <laughs> and he, he came up to me. I, I, he was like, he came up to me, boom, and said, okay, I'll let you go. That's what he said. I kicked him three times and then that's what he said. I'll let you go. Okay, you don't have to let me go, but okay, I'll go. You know? <laughs> nice. Now, we hear that you're doing an epic drama next. Mm-hmm. And you're going to do all the stunts yourself? Yeah, I'm going to do all the stunts. Tell us about the project. What is it about? Uh, and what do you play? <clears throat> okay, it's called Chuno, and it will be broadcasted in KBS uh, TV station in Korea next to January. And it's about a um, chasing slave. And I'm playing the bodyguard of this slave. He wasn't a slave, he was a general originally. Mm-hmm. But then, uh, because because of the conspiracy, he became a slave and he runs away. And I'm his bodyguard, mm-hmm. protecting him. And he's my friend too. Yeah, it's a supporting role? Supporting role, yeah. 
Okay. And I never, I never done. I, I. This is my first time doing a drama. I, I only did the films before. Ah. So. Okay, so this is a, a quite a big deal for you. Yeah. Because you'll be in households. Households, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And more people will see me, so. Well, increasingly, we're seeing more Korean stars trying to break, make it in Hollywood, like Daniel Henney right. and uh, Lee Byung Hun yeah, in GI Joe. Yeah, uh-huh. Now, what do you think of this trend? Is that something that you also would like to attempt? Yeah, that, I mean, that's what I always attempted since I was trying out for acting. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's every goal for um, Asian actor to go into Hollywood and make it, make it in Hollywood. Okay. Because whereas uh, if you're star in Asia, uh-huh. you're star in Asia. But if you are an actor or a star in Hollywood, then you are an actor all over the world. There is a line that I always thought to myself: if I ever go to Hollywood and win an Oscar, I want to speak Korean. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, just Korean only, no English. That is very cool. Now, uh, tell us about your American Korean background. Mm-hmm. Uh, when did you move to the States? When did you come back? And why uh, did you decide to come back? Okay, I went to States in year 1990. And I came back to Korea... How old were you in 1990? I was, I was 10 years old. Mm-hmm. And I went back to Korea in 19, uh, 2001. And I lived in Korea for about 9 years now. Okay. What were you doing in the U.S.? Studied. Studied English. Uh-huh. And were you there by yourself? Uh, with my with my family. With your family, and your father was, your parents were working there. Yeah, my my parents worked there as an engineer. My uh, my father. I see. And what was the experience like? Well, when I first went there, I had no friends, and I couldn't speak English, and that was also the reason why I learned martial art, mm-hmm. because uh, I didn't want people to make fun of me because I'm an Asian. Right. And also, you know. In the States, uh, when you go to high school, kids are kind of bullied. They're young, you know? Yeah. They're immature, so... That's one of the reasons that I, I, I trained martial arts. Uh, and people kind of look up to you in the States. Okay. Now, you've also acted in a Hollywood film? Um, small roles. Small roles? Yeah, small roles. What is the difference between acting in Hollywood and in Asian cinema? I think... As an Asian, it's harder to break into Hollywood because there are certain roles that people are looking for. They are looking for Asian role, not a not a character. We want Asian, Asian who can do martial art. Right. We want Asian this, Asian that. Whereas when you come to Asia, we're looking for a character. We're looking for a bad character, not an Asian bad character. You know, so you have more chance in Asia, and definitely as an Asian. You gotta have a strong base in Asia to break into Hollywood and get a, get better roles, I think. And which appeals to you more? Um, my own country, I think. It yeah. gives you more freedom. More freedom acting. and more opportunities. More opportunities. Yeah, that's great. Korean men in movies and dramas uh-huh. are often portrayed as uh, romantic uh-huh. and hopelessly devoted uh-huh. to their women. Uh-huh. Is that a description that would fit you? <laughs> okay, um, it's, it's really hard. Okay, I want to say yes, but if I say yes, it's, um, let's, let's put this way. Um, uh, when I date someone, um, I either keep all my heart or not. So, I only dated four times in my life. And... What's the, what's the, how should I put this? Put this. Um, you and haven't quite fallen in love yet. All those four times, I always okay. The first one was when I when I went to um, university, no university, and I w- I wanted to marry her. And then I broke up with her. Second one, I also wanted to marry her. Okay. Third one, to fourth one too. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. What it's happened each thing. time? Each time. Well. Um, Break up and get hurt, both get hurt, you know, but we're all uh, in a good terms, so. Okay. Are you seeing anyone right now? Not, not right now. I want to work now. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you find women hitting on you all the time? Not really. 
Not really. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe when you become a big star, Singaporean women might start hitting on you. Okay, okay thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> in the next clip, we talk to Lee Seul and James Kim about the celebrity culture in Korea.